Hey y'all, what's up? It's Noelle with Baker's Backyard Bounty, and today I want to talk to you guys about cloth diapering. So we did cloth diapering with Lily for about the first year, <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys why we stopped after that. Hey, but that is by no means like what your family has to do. This for us was a decision that we made based off of just our values and thinking about um, kind of the impact that we wanted our family to have on the environment and just always looking for small things we can do to just lower our um, impact in terms of sending things to the landfill. Um, I don't want this to feel like preachy or like this is what your family has to choose or judgmental. Um, we have gotten a lot of opinions and a lot of, uh, I will say, pushback from people, especially um, some family members that just don't understand why we wouldn't just go the convenient route. And um, so we'll, we'll dive into that a little bit more as well. Um, so, uh, Zoe was born really small. She was about uh, a little over five pounds. And the diapers that we have, the, the shells that we have from Grovia, that's where we get our supplies, um, were too small and we didn't purchase any of the newborn shells with Lily. Lesson learned. <laughs> Check out what's going down here. How do I even get anything done? I don't. This is just all real life stuff. Okay, so what I was saying is Zoe was so small um, that she, the the liners didn't fit snug enough, so it would just, her pee would leak out, and um, we didn't purchase any of the newborn uh, shells, and so I would encourage you, if you really want to commit to this and give it a try, then get the newborn shells because they're smaller than the smallest setting on the regular shells, and I'll break down what that means. Okay, so talking about supplies. The first thing you're gonna need are shells, which are these. This is essentially what is like the diaper cover. And um, it has three different settings. So this pattern, it's a little hard to see on, so I'll pull this one out. There are ones with snaps, what I just showed you. And there are ones with uh, Velcro. I will say the snaps are more durable. After washing these so many times, the Velcro got a little less uh, uh, adhesive or sticky or strong. So I would go with the snaps, although these are a lot quicker if you have a kid that likes to do the rotisserie chicken on the diaper changing table and spin. These are really uh, easy. So it's up to you. We have a combination of both. Okay, so as you see here, there are these snaps on the front. And what you do is you just take this bottom snap and fold it up and this makes it the smallest size. And as the kid grows, you just go down a snap. So see how that fold happens, just like so. The extra material goes on the inside instead of the outside. And when I fold it up, it's smaller on my little baby. And as my little baby grows, right, then I just unsnap and do the next level. And it has uh, two different levels. So what that does is uh, allows the diaper to grow with your child, which is pretty cool. And all of them, whether it's the snaps or the Velcro, come with that setting. So as you can see here, the little blue ones, right? Make it smaller. Yeah. So second thing that you're gonna need after you have your shells are your liners. These are the liners. See, these have been used for a year with Lily and hardly any stains at all. So it's a misconception that it's a nasty cloth diapering. We get these really clean with our homemade laundry detergent we use and hot water. You wash them on hot. Okay. Oh, Lily's cleaning Zoe down here. Thank you. So these are the organic liners and they're uh, softer and thicker. And these are the regular liners and they're more sleek and thin. So as you can see, thin and puffy thick. We like the puffy thick ones. We wanted to experiment with both. So I either work, um, these are a little more, I don't know, um, concealed on the child. They make it less bulky, but these absorb a little bit better is what we have found, the puffier ones. Okay, so you have your liner here. Oh, that's your setting. 
and you simply just snap the uh, liner to the shell, okay? So snap there and snap in the front. Boom, that's it, you have a diaper right here that goes on your child. How cool is that? What we actually do are we buy these things called bio liners and they're biodegradable bio liners and really it's like the consistency of a dryer sheet. You just rip one off and lie it <laughs> over the shell, uh, over, excuse me, over the liner in your shell, just like that, and it catches the solids. So this is what goes on your child. I know it's a little bulky, but um, they'll, they'll survive. They'll be just fine, okay, with the little uh, junk in their trunk, a little donk. Louie's <laughs> back there. So this is the cloth diaper. And what the bio liner does is it catches the solids. So you take this, psh, that's what you throw away, and then you just simply wash the liner and the shell. You can use the shell multiple times. You just pop the liners out and pop a new liner in. Boop, boop, and you keep going. So this shell could last you a whole day. Now, sometimes um, there's some leakage you know, on the edge like there's with a normal diaper around the leg if it's not tight enough. Um, and so you just would put this in your wet bag, which I'll go over in a second, and uh, get a new shell and a new liner when you change them. No big deal. Okay, for the wet bag. So this is what holds your soiled diapers. So we have, this is from Grovia, again. We have a big wet bag, which hangs on a hanger. So at the top, we just washed this one, so we took the hanger out. But you just fold it over a hanger. You snap. And snap. And this hangs on the back of the door, it can hang in the closet, it can hang in the bathroom, we've hung it all different places. And then you just take this, and we actually lost the little plastic tubing that went in here, but it holds it out like that. So what you do is you just slide the diaper in there. And really, I'm telling you guys, if you wash this regularly, you know, like don't let it sit for a month or a couple weeks, um, it doesn't smell. So see my soiled diaper just goes right in there and goes to the bottom. This bottom unzips, so when I go to wash it, I unzip this, shake them all out into the washer, and then throw this in the washer as I take the hanger out. So it's really, really easy. Really, really easy, I'm telling you, you can do this. In the diaper bag, we keep this one. It's a small wet bag. And this is great for like soiled clothes, because you know kids go through a few. Yeah, thank you, you're filling up my little wet bag. Um, but I got this at Bye Bye Baby. What brand is it? It's uh, Itsy Ritzy, but there's tons of different brands. And what it has on the inside is just like this slick material. It's really thick, and so it doesn't smell, it doesn't leak the fluids. Yeah. And when I get back home, I just dump this in the washer or in my large wet bag that's hanging on the door in the nursery. Um, and then I just throw this in the washer as well. I would suggest you have a couple of these so that while one's washing and drying, you have the other one as a backup in your diaper bag. And what's fun are that the shells, look, look at you. The shells come in so many fun um, colors and patterns, so you can really choose and get funky with it. They're not like gross, old school, white ones with the clothespin like our grandmothers had to use. They're pretty like high tech and genius actually. Okay, so you have your shell, your liner, your bio liner, the dryer sheet to catch the solids, and then your wet bags. Some people will put a sprayer attachment on their toilet to spray out the solids into the toilet from the um, liner, but we didn't do that and it wasn't really necessary with the bio liner. We felt okay buying these. They last a long time. It's a huge roll and they're biodegradable. So this is the only thing that really goes in the trash. Cool. Now the next thing that we're gonna be uh, trying, and I tried it a little bit with Lily, but not like consistently, it was just more of an experiment. But I wanna try this out with uh, Zoe, are these um, reusable wipes. So I bought these off of Amazon, and they're small, they're super soft. I saved a Huggies box, and I just stick all of my reusable wipes and my wipe spray that I made in there. This has a combination of distilled water, some essential oils, which lavender, which is safe for kids, um, but it's very, very diluted. Um, and then I think it has a little bit of witch hazel. Hey, it's okay. A little bit of witch hazel. You wanna hold it for me? So what you do, and we were just gonna do this uh, with the wet, not the dirty diapers, um, because like really, 
why waste a wipe on just a little bit of baby pee? It's like, I don't know. To me, it doesn't make sense to waste all those wipes and all that money. So what you do is you have this. Oh, don't eat the wipe spray. Who's your mama? Who's supervising you? There we go. Once we have this, we just spray it on. Boop. And then wipe the bum. And again, this can go in your wet bag to be washed. So for these, I ordered 12. Definitely want to order more, like have a plethora of them because you'll go through them fast. Kids do a lot of business throughout the day. But they're super soft, really easy, and uh, just pair nicely with what we're doing with the cloth diapers. All right, y'all. That is cloth diapering in a nutshell. I know that was super fast. Please comment below with questions you have. Again, we use the Grow Via brand, but there's tons out there. Um, all right. May you find the bounty in your own life today and all the beauty that it holds. Until next time.